Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, if you've never been here before, my name is Amanda, I'm 32. I have a son who is 19 months and my daughter is three and a half. This is a once upon a child haul for you today. I went this morning to pick up some missing items from our summer wardrobe. Today is 95 degrees with 115 heat index. So we realized we do not have enough light, light, light summer clothes. So we went ahead and stopped by there this morning. We spent a total of $59.39. We got this pile of things and then this hat. So we're gonna go ahead and go through these. Um, if you've never shopped at Once Upon a Child or if you're kind of nervous about going into a Once Upon a Child, I highly, highly recommend going. I buy almost every single one of my clothing items for my children from there. They have the best deals that I can find and most of their clothes are excellent quality and most of the ones that I end up picking up usually are name brand. So I spend about a third of the price that I would on clothing that is brand new and I suggest trying it out if you haven't done it before. Again, all, I mean, I'm not again because I didn't say it, but all locations are um, independently owned. So they might have like different qualifications for like what they want to take for items and what they don't. But in my area specifically, I live in Indiana. Most of my items that I end up finding are in excellent condition. So first thing that I purchased is this summer hat for my daughter. It says mermaid in training. And I think that this is a target hat because it has a little tag on it that looks like the tags that are on like target clothing. But she picked that out for herself. It's a little bit large, so she'll be able to wear it for quite a while. Um, I thought that it would just been super adorable on her. She also picked out a pair of play shoes. These are by Kid Uzi. And these ended up being $3.20. It is worth noting that there was a clearance sale that was going on. So any clearance item that you purchased was a dollar during the hours of like 11 to four or something like that. And we went at like 11 a.m. So we got a few items that ended up being like super duper discounted because of that clearance sale. And then um, I had a $5 off five dollar purchase so there it was a total savings of fifteen dollars and fifty cents off of that normally like gouged price from a new purchase so if it gets you thinking about how much you want to save there you go this is a bucket hat for my son it has dinosaurs on it all over the top of it. I also think this was a Target purchase or maybe it was like Carter's or something, but there is no tag that's in the side. It has an orange lining and then just the little like chin buckle so that it holds on to them. And then also got my daughter a sun hat and this is by a company called Earth Nymph and she has an affinity for mermaids right now. So that was super, super cute. And this is like, really stretchy generally this probably isn't for a toddler but and she does have like a slightly larger head anyway she's in like the 80s to 90s for head percentile so um this generally probably wouldn't fit uh, but i went ahead and tried it on her in the store and made sure there was like nothing visible inside of it and it fit her so they actually wore oh, each of those this morning we went right from once upon a child to the water park which is like why i look the way that i do but the um usually i make my kids wait for me to wash everything like sanitize it before they can use it and the water there is chlorinated and it's like so chlorinated that you can smell it so i'm like anything that could possibly be in there will be killed in the first 60 seconds that it went into the water so wasn't worried about that this morning but they'll get washed now so also got my son this Iron Man action figure. He was $4.11. He's at the age where he's like just now starting to like make choices about things that he likes. And most of the toys that he plays with are just like things that we've had from my daughter. Um, so it was super cute when I said, look, it's Iron Man. And he just started saying Iron Man, Iron Man, like through the whole entire store. So we bought that for him. And then for my daughter's clothes, this is... I think this is a different brand. Yes, this is Polo Ralph Lauren. It's wet right here from the sun hat sitting on top of it, but this was $5.50. I actually think this was the most expensive thing that I purchased in the whole trip. Um, but it has this cute little floral design on it. And I think this was adorable for maybe like summer pictures or something like that. 
So we haven't had pictures done since last fall and they grow so fast. We also purchased this Jumping Beans um, 4th of July dress. It was $3, Ooh, $3 and 50 cents. And it's just the, the flag. She didn't get to wear anything for Memorial Day and I think it's kind of important to start like educating the kids about those things. Um, and so that's kind of like a good, good option for like opening that pathway of communication about that. Um, we have a Carter's tank top, size four, dollar fifty. It says free to be me. Again, like 4th of July themed and it goes like both ways for the sequins and it has those like really fun, something kind of interactive. Um, also got her a pair of Granimals tie-dye shorts. My kids um, have very thin waists and are, like most children, kind of disproportionate. So anything that has an adjustable waist or a real drawstring is pretty much like sold for us. So got these tie-dyes. We tie-dyed a couple shirts a couple weeks ago. And I think those would be really cute to wear with that or because it has so many colors on it, she can wear it with like almost anything in her closet. Um, these are called Maker's Mark Active Girl. And I didn't notice, but these have an adjustable waist on them too. And they have like a stretchy fabric to them. And they also have little mesh pockets on both sides of these. And these ended up being $2 and, oh, I cannot grab it, $2 and 50 cents. And she picked those out in the store. She has a few of these. And if you check out my last haul video, which was like four weeks ago, um, again, from Once Upon a Child, she got two of this exact same style tank top, but they were, I think, um, Old Navy brand. This one is a Cherokee brand and it was $1.50. And Cherokee is usually a pretty expensive brand. Um, and then this one's nice because it has adjustable straps on it, which is hard for like, little children's clothes. This actually is a size six, so it's technically like girls clothing, but um, their selection for girls tank tops or toddler girl tank tops the last couple times we met has been like pretty slim. So I went ahead and just checked in a little bit of a larger size. Um, and she'll get to wear it longer and because it has adjustable straps, it'll fit perfect. I also got her an old navy tank top. Again, a size five and she usually wears a 4T, but it is what it is, um, $2.50. This one um, is Old Navy Active and it is so lightweight that I think the wind will blow right through it and keep her very, very cool. Um, if the back of it, I should show you, is like a razor tank. And I think that's super cute, which also helps when they have like smaller shoulders like my kids do um, to help keep them on their bodies because they're kind of like already cinched in the back. And then again, another razor tank. This is from, what is that? Cynthia Rothy. And I've never heard of that brand. Oh, I'm sorry. Cynthia Rowley is must be what it says. It's kind of like a metallic print on there, but it was $4.50. Again, it's a size five and it has this really cute unicorn on the front. And she didn't know that I picked this up because she was focusing on like dresses and stuff, but it's kind of like, shimmery it has some stars on it which she loves and then she loves pinks and purples and things like that so go ahead and see how she likes that when i show it to her um she picked these out too just a pair of like stretchy athletic shorts these are by copper key and they were two dollars and fifty cents the last two items that I got for her and then we'll move on to my boys stuff. These were um, actually this, cause it's a skirt is Sonoma brand. It was $3 and 50 cents and it's actually a squirt. It has like the shorts inside. If you can tell they're black on black, it's hard to tell. There you go. Um, Sonoma brand. And I thought that this would have just be so darling for like a Christmas type of picture or something. Um, and I'm not certain that this waist will actually fit her perfectly at the moment. So that'll be great for a little bit later down the line this year. She loves this style short. I have two pairs of the exact same style, exact same color short, and they're Oshkosh Bagosh, I wanna say. And I got them last year at the Carter store for like $5 a piece on like some really awesome promo. And they are her favorite to wear at the moment, but they're getting a little bit small. So I picked up this 
pair. These are Cat and Jack brand, and these were $3.50. So hopefully these fit her. They do have a little like tie waist on them too, which is real. And that's nice for kids clothes because again, being so disproportionate at their ages, it's so hard to get things that fit in length and in width and just every other thing that kids need. So, um, will clothing companies please put real ties and real dresses on their clothes because parents would appreciate it a whole lot. Um, this is my son's new pair of swim trunks. These were one of those promo items. Um, that's what that clearance circle um, item, whatever there means. $6.50 normally. I got these for a buck and they have sharks on them just like the majority of the other pattern items that I purchased for him because they're just so cute. But um, I bought a pair or I had a hand-me-down pair of shorts that I got and they are way too long. Like they go down to his ankles because he's so short. So I had to pick up a different pair for him. Uh, this is also one of those clearance items. I got that clearance circle on it. $4.50 normally. Paid a buck for these and they're just blue basketball shorts with the stripe down the side. Uh, these don't have a brand and also going back really fast to these swim trunks. Those were Gymboree. I, think, I, don't, I don't know what brand Gymboree is. I feel like they're either Walmart, Walmart or maybe um, Kohl's. But this is a pair of jumping beans, which I know these are Kohl's. Jumping beans shorts. I got a pair of khaki shorts in the last haul, which again was like a month ago if you checked that video out. Um, but they were a lot thicker. So these ones are a lot thinner. They have real pockets on them, which is so adorable when kids start to realize they can like stick things in them. And then um, they were $1.50. So that was a really great purchase. My, my favorite thing about khakis is that they match like everything in the closet. So anytime that I'm like worried about finding a matching a um, pair of shorts for a shirt, automatically get the khakis out. These were $1.50. These are Granimals. These are Walmart brand, I believe. And they are just gray basketball shorts. And they have um, the black and like white check on these ones. I didn't end up with too many name brand items this time. Usually the majority of what I end up purchasing is name brand and that's just because those are the styles that we end up seeing that we like the most, but not specifically because we're hunting out the name brands, but it's always like extra sweet when you're like, oh, hey, look, I found a pair of Nike shorts for $4.50. And it's like that, you can't go wrong with that. These would probably be 15 bucks, brand new. But these are just plain black. Um, these again will match most of what he has. And they have this little green check swoosh on them. We got so many basketball shorts this time because my husband said that Basketball shorts are the most like airy thing to wear for men and boys and stuff. So instead of getting him like thicker, just uncomfortable shorts, we just went ahead and got him these cute little, he already had a few of these over the last like year, but um, just ended up working out better to get them this time. Uh, $2.50 clearance for $1. And this is the last item that we have, by the way, just black shorts with this teal design going up the legs. And these um, were also Granimals brand. So, we got a lot of great items today. Spent way less money than if I were to have purchased them at the store. If you're worried about going into one because you're nervous, you've never been in there before, you don't know what the quality of the items look like, I highly suggest at least trying it once. You may surprise yourself and save a bunch of money and never go back to buying everything full price. But uh, thanks for checking in today. Thanks for tuning in and seeing the video. I appreciate you stopping by. Give it a like if you thought it was a great video. And if you wanna subscribe, I'd appreciate that as well. I post videos every couple of months about the hauls that I do for my kids or even for myself. I have the Shein and Pat Pat haul posting probably today is my hope, um, which I said last month, but got to sit down and just write the prices out for all of those things and I'll get that up. But if you want to check that out, keep an eye out for that. Turn on the notification bell if you really want to see it and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.